Hey guys, Funny Guy Timmy here again for another microphone review, a third ISK microphone review. Uh, first, we reviewed the ISK ICDM, and then we reviewed the um, ISK Little Gem, the dual or pair microphone set. And today we're actually reviewing the ISK CM20, which is, I think it's one of their least expensive microphones. Uh, this one actually is about half the price of the uh, ISK Little Gem. Um, uh, a couple reasons. Number one, it's just one microphone as opposed to the ISK Little Gem, which is a pair. Um, and another difference is uh, this one does not have exchangeable capsules as opposed to the ISK Little Gem. Um, which, I mean, given that, I mean... I'd go with the ISK Little Gem. Uh, it's got more features. It's two mics as opposed to one. Uh, but we're going to review this one anyway. So basically the only things that come with this microphone uh, in the package is the little uh, leather pouch. Um, I find their leather pouches to be adorable for their tiny uh, pencil condensers or their small diaphragm microphones. Uh, they're literally the smallest pouches I've ever seen. They almost look like canoes or canoes for microphones. Um, and then it also comes with obviously the little uh, foam windscreen, which I actually very much appreciate because sometimes I don't like using the big pop filter. Yes, the big pop filter does work better. Um, but sometimes like if I'm using this to, you know, as a carry on mic, um, you know, uh, to bring with me somewhere. I don't want to just bring a big pop filter. Uh, you know, sometimes it's easier for me to just talk adjacent to the microphone. But I would still like something to cover the capsule to kind of protect it from plosives. So, uh, yeah, it comes with the uh, bag, the foam screen, and it comes with a clamp, which I actually really like their clamps uh, because they're really strong. They're not cheap plastic. Uh, and sometimes you'll get like the clamps that literally um, the bolt in here can't tighten or it's just it's also cheap plastic. Um, but these ones are actually I think it's actually steel in there. Uh, might be wrong. Um, but yeah, so we're listening to the capsule with the microphone with no EQing, no compressing, nothing like that. Uh, something I really don't like doing. I don't like. I don't like microphone reviews where they actually change the compression or the EQ or they have music playing in the background. It's like, I can't hear the microphone the way it's supposed to be intended. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, adjust the volume and gain on the microphone. So you can hear its noise floor. Um, uh, at first, we're going to give you some silence with the volume that I have it right now. So I'm using my Yamaha uh, MG10XU. And I have the gain uh, halfway, and I have the volume at 75%. So now we're going to give some silence. Pretty good. Not bad. Uh, why did I start with my thumb? What am I, a rapper? Um, and so now we're going to increase the levels or the volume to all the way. weird popping all right so the levels are all the way up uh, didn't increase the volume by that much but now the gain okay now the gain is at 75% um, I can hear footsteps everywhere now it's like having the ears of Superman And set everything back. Okay. Um, realistically, that's not bad as far as like a noise floor, as far as um, how sensitive the microphone is, or how um, uh, how much generate how much self generated noise uh, this microphone actually produces. It's actually not that bad. Um, I think for a very small pencil condenser, at the cost of about like I, I don't remember what they had on their website, but I think it's about forty dollars. Uh, somewhere between. 30 and $40. Um, this is actually really, really good. Uh, surprisingly good. I, I have no idea why, uh, you know, I had never really heard of ISK before now. 
Um, I'm hoping to get my hands on one of their actual large diaphragms at some point in time because I would love, literally, literally love to review one of those, um, especially at the price that they have. I mean, if they can pull off these microphones at the price that they've been pulling them off and for them to have the, you know, the good quality and the, um, it's just, it's solid, solid metal. Um, then I'm dying to see what else they can do. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see any other types of videos, have any questions, or you'd like to see any other microphones reviewed, um, also go check out the microphone uh, in the description. Either if I can find it, um, uh, wh well, whatever link I can find to the microphone, I'll have down below for you guys as well as any sales if they have any sales going on um and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be alerted if there are any other microphone reviews or any other videos that i'm posting all that kind of stuff because you know how youtube is uh and so uh thank you guys for watching don't forget to um uh tell your mother uh you love her yeah i think it's a great way of ending yeah that's a great way of ending